Welcome again. This is a video for exercise 7 in our journey in learning Microsoft Word. I highly recommend those who did not watch the previous videos to watch them so that they will benefit and they can continue. So by the end of this exercise you will be able to add various smart arts to a document. So it is demonstration time. I will see you there. Okay, gentlemen, let us start. Uh, as you can see here, I have the document. This is exercise seven. And uh, here we have the task underneath. So uh, the first thing here, it asked me after we type and open the word, as we know, we have to save the document and it give me the name here. So let us do this first and then we will continue. So click file, save as, browse, and then I will choose that documents. And here I will provide the name of the file, which is Word. And in this case, I will just simply change that one to seven. And I click save. So this is now our file is saved. Now here, we will learn how to write or how to add a special type of uh, pictures. We call them smart art. For example, like this one, this is a smart art. And here we have another type of a smart art. So this is very useful, especially for uh, people who are working in flowcharts and technical writings. This maybe they need this type of uh, illustration to be in their document. So Microsoft Word has a, a built-in feature, it's called Smart Art, where you can ins insert different type of Smart Art. So I will show you first how to do this, and then we will show you how to do that. So let me just click here, and we will try to uh, add uh, similar to this uh, Smart Art. So in the, uh, first you click the, where you want the Smart Art to be located. You put the cursor there then you go to the insert and in the insert in the illustration uh, group we have here smart art so you just click that one here we have a list of different type of smart arts here all it will show you all the uh, smart art types or you can uh, select a specific category for example here we have a list category process cycle, hierarchy, relational, and so on. So in each category, we have different type of smart art. So in our case, I believe the one that we want, this one, this uh, shape, I think it is in the cycle. And in the cycle category, as you can see, we have different type of smart art. So the one that we may uh, need, I think this is called block cycle. So I click that one then simply click OK. Now, when you do that, you will end up with this one with generic text here, and you can start typing the text that you want. Now, uh, there are two ways to type text in the Smart Art. Either you type text directly here in the Smart Art itself, or there is a, a special pane called Text Pane, but it's not shown, so if you want to show it, you just click this arrow, this is the uh, text pane and where you can start typing your text here. So sometimes it's easy for you to work with the text pane than to directly uh, insert the text in the smart art. And even you can delete here some text if you want and it will be reflected on the smart art. So now I am in the uh, first uh, uh, list here. So simply I will type here uh, customer you see, as I type, it is reflected on the uh, smart art. Now I go to the second one. You see, it aut automatically it goes to the second uh, box. And here, I think it says to me, log on, log on uh, to website. 
and I will continue I click this now the third bullet points and I say here add a purchase order then I go to the next and here check out this is the process of online shopping and the last one here uh, um, information email. so you see now I finished typing my text in the text bin if I finish typing you can simply click that one and it will disappear so you see now I have almost similar to what we have here now after that you have many options as far as you selecting the smart art as you can see here we have special tabs one is called design and one called is format these appear only if you are selecting a smart art so if I click outside they will disappear so if you want to format and you know so you can simply click inside the task uh, the smart art to make sure that they, they will appear here and from the design you have many different options for example from here you can change the colors if you want these are built in colors okay as you can see and here we have smart uh, art styles we have different you know styles so you can play and you can choose whatever you want if you want more you can click here so it's really wonderful you click uh, the style that you want so it is easy and uh, to uh, work with the smart arts as simple as if i want to change the text uh, again either you click the one and you directly start typing or i i prefer to use the text pane because it is easy for me now if i want to add a new block to this circle simply you just come here and you press enter and it automatically add a new so this is a new uh, process for example so you see so whenever you add or delete something from the text bay, it will be reflected on that if you don't want this anymore simply select and delete press delete and again it will disappear so this is how you uh, deal with this smart art now let us continue let us do the second one I want like this one for example so let me click here so that we press enter now again the same thing we go insert then smart art and I believe this type of a smart art and uh, is it in the relation or the process I think in a process I think it is this one continuous block process so you can click that one actually you can uh, practice you know you can use you know you can try all these and see which one fit you then you click OK you see as you can see again I can resize <coughs> uh, by using these handlers the resizing handlers okay and again uh, now I have I can type the text directly here or again I prefer to click this button <coughs> to open the text pane and you can start typing the text that you want so this is the website log in <coughs> you see it automatically resize the text to fit in the box so then I click that one add or choose order and the last one confirmation email of course if I want to resize the text again you can select the text inside and you can go to home you can click this button to decrease the font size it's up to you again the same thing I can come here and I select the text again I click this decrease font size button many times till I reach the size that I want again the same thing I will decrease this one so that they are in harmony you see 
now I finish typing the text simply I will click the to, dis uh, to, to hide the text pin now again uh, as far as I am selecting the text uh, the uh, smart art again I have the design and the format actually we have different types of uh, tab design again from here you can play with the whatever you want and uh, also in the design on the style you can choose whatever style you want so actually this is a very useful uh, tool smart it's called smart art and I believe if I click that one again if I add here if I click this one and add you see it add automatic uh, box for the text this is sample for example you see so it is easy for you to use the text paint to work with the uh, task uh, smart art so this is how you add smart art to your uh, document and I believe here in task number three it asks you to type your first name so I will type here first name I will click here then so as usual we type here student name click and uh, this enter then student ID I think we are three one one zero zero and your section number for example three again if you want to get removed from these red lines simply right click and you say ignore and ignore so this is how you add smart art to your uh, word document and it gives it more appealing uh, looking and really there are many and, and uh, smart art and I highly advise you to practice and see uh, what are the other type of smart art available in Word so I believe this is uh, the end of this exercise I hope it was useful for you and uh, see you in the next video uh, till that time please stay safe